हेलो एवरी वन एंड वेलकम बैक टू ईजी डेंटिस्ट्री अ चैनल दैट मेक्स डेंटल एजुकेशन इनक्रेडिबली ईजी एंड इंटरेस्टिंग टूडे वी आर अपलोडिंग अ सिंड्रोम विच इज जॉ सिस्ट बेजल सेल निवस बाइफिड रिब सिंड्रोम फर्स्ट वॉच आर लेक्चर ऑन ओडोटोजेनिक केराटोसिस्ट विच वी हैव ऑलरेडी अपलोडेड ऑन अर चैनल पेज सो लेट्स बिगिन विथ टूडेज लेक्चर जॉ सिस्ट बेजल सेल निवस Bifid rib syndrome is also known by other names that is Gorlin Gold syndrome basal cell nevus syndrome and hereditary cutaneo mandibular polyonchosis This Gorlin Gold syndrome was first described by Binkley and Johnson in the year 1951 but it was thoroughly revised by Gorlin and his associates It is an autosomal dominant trait with a high penetrance and variable expressibility. Coming to the etiology of the Gorlin and Gold syndrome, it occurs due to mutation of the patch gene or the PTCH gene which is a tumor suppressor gene present on chromosome 9. Clinical features The Gorlin Gold syndrome presents a very complex clinical features and easy mnemonic to remember the features of the Gorlin and Gold syndrome is doc said no socializing this is a corona virus special mnemonic especially for you all doc said no socializing d is for dental anomalies o is for osseous anomalies C is for cutaneous anomalies the n of no is for neurologic anomalies o is for ophthalmologic anomalies and s is for the sexual anomalies so doc said no socializing in covid-19 now the dental anomalies include multiple keratosis present in the jaws or multiple okc present in the jaws mandibular prognathism and displacement of the teeth so here you can see this is a radiograph opg of a patient with gorlin and gold syndrome where you can see multiple okc in this patient and also mandibular prognathism is the finding now osseous anomalies include rib anomalies that is bifid rib vertebral anomalies and brachymetacarpalism that is the metacarpals are short here you can see this radiograph of the patient showing bifid ribs then comes the cutaneous anomalies which includes basal cell carcinoma benign dermal cysts and tumors palmar pitting palmar and plantar keratosis and dermal calcinosis here you can see patient suffering with basal cell carcinoma palmar keratosis palmar pitting and dermoid cysts and tumors now the neurologic manifestations include mental retardation dural calcification agenesis of the corpus callosum congenital hydrocephalus and medulloblastoma here you, sorry here in this picture you can see the neurologic manifestations which is dural calcinosis or dural calcification hydrocephalus that is increase in the csf level of the ventricles agenesis of the corpus callosum here you can see the intact corpus callosum here while in this picture the corpus callosum is absent so this is agenesis of corpus callosum and the patient may also may suffer from medulloblastoma now the ophthalmologic manifestation includes hypertelorism white nasal bridge dystopia canthorum congenital blindness and internal strabismus so this is a picture showing patient with a wide nasal bridge you can see here the nasal bridge is very wide and hypertelorism is present now the sexual abnormalities include hypogonadism in males and ovarian tumors so these are the findings clinical features of a patient with gorlin and gold syndrome i think it would be easy for you to remember these clinical features with the help of the easy mnemonic 
Also, the patient with Gorlin Gold syndrome show lack of response to parathormone, lack of phosphate diuresis, and the short fourth metacarpal is uh, is uh, shortened. Now, the treatment and prognosis: the OKC or the tumors are surgically excised. Now, if you come across a patient with multiple odontogenic keratocysts in the jaws, then this patient should be also assessed for the Gorlin Gold syndrome. Look for other uh, other uh, features like ophthalmologic, osseous, dental, then uh, the neurologic, and other features in this patient to rule out the Gorlin Gold syndrome. Stay safe. Stay at home. Stay healthy. We will be uploading more lectures for you during this quarantine period. Happy studying.